there are more SUVs and pickup trucks on the road than there were 10 years ago. Now, street safety advocates are speaking out about the damage they can do. I was hit on my bike in 2015 by a woman driving a large SUV, nearly 5,000 pounds. Um, she claimed that she didn't see me. Jessica Speaker suffered a broken spine, a brain injury, and extensive soft tissue damage. I live with chronic pain. I live with debilitating depression and anxiety. Um, I'm never going to be the same person that I was before this happened. 16 Ontario advocacy groups have come together to ask the chief coroner to look into street deaths caused by these kinds of vehicles. So really what we're asking the coroner to do is not only to save lives, but to spare families the anguish that comes with losing a loved one. The groups say recent research out of the U.S. shows these vehicles are especially deadly due to flaws built into their design. The fact that they are higher means that drivers have blind spots that prevent them from seeing pedestrians or cyclists. And also their front ends are um, very high and they hit people uh, on the thorax, so on their vital organs. This is demonstrated in a CBC original series on GEM called Stories About Here, where documentary filmmaker Yu Tae Lee explores the subject. A sedan is more likely to clip a pedestrian's legs and send them flying on top of its hood, which is designed to be bouncy like a metal trampoline. Still very painful, but not as fatal. In a letter to the chief coroner, the advocacy groups outline data from Toronto Police. They say the numbers are consistent with the U.S. research and the chief coroner has addressed similar issues before. It's like the safety of people outside of cars has been completely forgotten by our safety regulators. And that needs to change. Tyler Cheese, CBC News, Toronto.